Six truly never disappoints. The song is amazing, and I still listen to it daily without getting tired. The side tracks are also all really good, and my favorite one is Young. I can't get over Young He during Young BTW. Like he looks so good, what the hell? Anyway, cinema is just really addictive, catchy, and lovely. BX singing is a true blessing and everyone in general was amazing. Six doing a cute concept is such a new thing and I'm here for it. Are they even the same people who performed Jungle? They all look amazing and the promotions were so fun because they'd always have cute hairstyles and makeup. It's such a good era and it made me so happy. The MV is really well done and aesthetic. It was just so fun and nice. I'd give the song a 10 out of 10 and the MV a 9 out of 10. Can we talk again? Can we try again? I don't know guys but this song didn't really convince me. It's kinda boring and it didn't really tell me anything. But yeah I will stand them anyway because their agency makes really various songs, for example Mamamoo and Onius, so I hope their debut will be more convincing to me. Their voices are amazing though. They have so much potential. I'm always surprised by how good they are. Anyway the MV was really pretty and they all look so beautiful. I'd give the song a 5 out of 10 and the MV an 8 out of 10. Forever, forever. I didn't really like this song, it's just too boring for me. I was really speechless because it is a Christmas song but it was released in February LMAO. I hope SM gives them a proper comeback next time because this song wasn't it in my opinion. The MV though was cute and they all looked gorgeous. I don't really have much to say lol. I rate the song a 4 out of 10 and the MV a 7 out of 10. And the catchiest song award goes to, Sugar. This song is pure drugs please I've been listening to it non-stop. It's the same thing with Cinema by Six, an addictive and catchy song. I can even describe it but it lives in my head rent free. His voice sounds so good and he fit the vibe perfectly. He looked so cute in the MV and during the promotions. It was all just perfect. It's such a pity most of my favorite songs have been removed from Spotify. My playlists are basically ruined. I hope they make them available again soon. Anyway. I'd give the song a 10 out of 10 and the MV an 8 out of 10. She's back guys and she is here for blood. This song is so good it makes me feel like a boss. She is truly amazing. Her album has so many songs so I don't know if I'll ever have the time to listen to it LMAO, but I appreciate her hard work. Having 20 songs in an album is truly amazing and she deserves so much for it. The MV is so good as always and she looks so expensive. Her outfits and makeup are always on point. I'd give the song an 8.5 out of 10 and the MV a 9.5 out of 10. This song is too good. We are having so many good comebacks and they are all so addicting LMAO I'm going crazy. It's such a vibe and I always sing it in my head. Lately he's been releasing some dark songs and I'm here for it tbh. He's doing so well. The MV is really well made and it fits the song really well. I'd give the song a 9 out of 10 and the MV an 8 out of 10. it is. My most listened song of the week. When Taeyong said so addict I felt it. This song is going to be the end for me. I listen to it all the time, it's just too good I can't. It should be illegal to release such good songs. They all look so good and the MV is so well made, the camera work reminds me of what I said by Victon and God's Menu by Stray Kids. I absolutely vote the song a 10 out of 10 and the MV an 8 out of 10.
This song is so good OMG I should really stand them but I am already standing Marie and Kingdom so it's hard to catch up with everyone. The girls look so skilled and talented. The chorus is so catchy and the dance is so iconic. Their voices sound so good and the whole song is just so good. I'd give the song a 9 out of 10 and the MV an 8 out of 10. I was so looking forward to their debut. They have such a fierce concept and they already have their own color, which is hard for a rookie group. The song is such a vibe, I was expecting something old style but it's actually really new and fresh. The chorus is so good and their voices are so unique. Their dance skills are amazing, the choreography is so awesome and really hard. The MV is really well done I think they got a high budget because it's such a high quality MV for a rookie group. Some scenes were just breathtaking. I'd give the song a 9 out of 10 and the MV a 9 out of 10. I missed GOT7 so much after all that has happened. I don't even stand them but this song made me so emotional. They showed us that they aren't just singers, but they are true friends that love making music together. I feel like I shouldn't rate this song an MV because it would be disrespectful to value this song with a number. Its meaning and beauty cannot be valued by numbers. I admit it, at first I didn't really know what to think because it was such a different song and I didn't know what to say. At the second listen I loved it. I love experimental songs so much and they absolutely did amazing. Their voices sound so good please. The whole album is so good and my favorite side tracks are Code and Body Rhythm. The MV is so well done, I love when Shiny have strong concepts. The dance is really hard and precise, they did so well. I feel like I'll never get tired of listening to this song. The whole concept is so good, I absolutely don't understand the theories but yeah lmao. Everyone looked so good and shined individually. Also, the line distribution is super fair and it makes me so happy. I'd give the song a 10 out of 10 and the MV 9 out of 10. <laughs> Guys this song is just perfect. I'm so mad because it was removed from Spotify. I used to listen to it on my way to school because it gave me energy. Anyway if you don't know this song y'all should check it out. It's just such a cheerful song and it lives in my head rent free. I'm so proud of Seung Hyub, he is such a great composer. I'm so happy about his solo debut, he really deserves it. The MV is really interesting and aesthetic. I loved the whole concept. It was so cute that you could see an N. Flying poster. And the fact that there are five versions of himself is so cute because N. Flying are also five. Repeat after me, Seung Hai a best leader. So, I'd give the song a 9 out of 10 and the MV an 8 out of 10. <laughs> this is probably the only Sun Mai's song that I didn't like. I don't know why, it just didn't fit my taste I guess. The MV though is really well done. The dance is amazing and she looked absolutely stunning. Her MVS are always so good. I'd give the song a 6 out of 10 and the MV an 8 out of 10. I love Way so much. This comeback really showed their dark side and they did so well. Dahyun is such a talented member and I'm so happy he produced the song. Now, the song is good. But I still haven't had enough time to listen to it more than twice. I really like the verses but I'm not very fond of the chorus. But yeah I'm sure it will grow on me after some more listens. Now let's talk about the MV because damn. They all look so good, like, I was screaming the whole time. Young Ha in particular wow he is just so gorgeous, his hair reminds me of the bad guy era. The makeup, the outfits, everything was just chef kiss. I'd give the song a 7 out of 10 and the MV 7 out of 10. Onf never disappoints. 
If the word energy was a song, it would be this. I'm so happy they got their first win with this song. They truly deserve it. I feel like this whole album was kind of an introduction for new fans. Ink if you guys know what I mean but, Beautiful Beautiful is a real example of their music style, then we have My Name Is which is basically them introducing themselves, then we have a song of the on-team and one of the off-team and so on. Idk, I just feel like it's a new beginning for them. Maybe I'm just too much into theories lmao, but yeah. The MV is so good, I absolutely love every ONF MV because there is so much going on and you can see they are having fun. I give the song a 9 out of 10 and the MV also 9 out of 10. Breaking down. I see. Get a soon get. The boys are getting so scary guys. I think they will abandon their bright concept for a while. But it's okay because I was able to see them grow through their music and I'm absolutely not complaining. I'm just happy they are getting the recognition they deserve. Now, about the song. I will not hide the fact that it's an unusual song. It's kind of unique, and I love experimental songs. The first listen was a culture shock, but after some other listens I started to vibe with it a lot more. I'm happy they gave Hackman and Jacob some important parts, they really deserve it and they did well. It's crazy how every member can fit so perfectly every concept. The MV is very simple and clean, I really liked the outfits and everyone looked so confident and cool. Chan He's highlight hair will forever be iconic. I just have a little complaint. I don't understand why the boys make Japanese releases but the title is always in Korean. I know Breaking Dawn has a little part in Japanese but it why it's so funny to me lmao. Anyway, I'd give the song an 8.5 out of 10 and the MV an 8 out of 10. Don't wanna talk, don't wanna fight, don't wanna play, I can't get over you. Wanho's career is already so well planned. I mean, he already has his own concept and style, and I'm so happy for that. The song is really nice and it's the kind of songs that get stuck on your head after just one listen. He did so well. The MV is so cool and it fits the song's vibe. I'd give the song an 8 out of 10 and the MV also an 8 out of 10. So wrap me in plastic and make me shine. Make a doll house, follow your design